VMware and AMD have had a phenomenal partnership for many years now. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome Lisa Su, the chair and CEO of AMD. Well, fantastic, Raghu. You know, I'm so excited to be here with you to help kick off VMware Explore. Um, it's a fantastic event, and we've had such a great partnership between our companies over the last few years, really trying to, you know, really optimize both, you know, vSphere and Epic, you know, together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, really appreciate all of the uh, support and great partnership. Yeah, so we have always uh, been enthusiastic supporters of uh, your data center offerings for a long, long time now, since the first generation of Epic. And uh, one of the examples that I distinctly remember is what we did, the work that we did together to support confidential computing mm -hmm. that came about with the Epic processors for both VMs and containers. And customers could get the benefit of all the work that you had done without having to change their application. Yeah, no, it, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, we designed Epic processors with the idea that we wanted to lead the industry in uh, core density and I.O., and that fits in so well with um, everything that you've done with vSphere. And, and I think the ideal here is that, you know, we want to provide these solutions that really make, um, you know, our customers have, you know, sort of the best VM you know, performance per socket uh, and really translates directly into, you know, total cost of ownership um, advantages. So i um, really proud of all the work that we've done together and we'll continue, um, you know, as we go forward. Yeah, and all of the work that you just talked about has powered your phenomenal growth in the data center side of your business. And we are seeing a terrific adoption by our enterprise customers and um, all the joint solutions that, are be, that we're able to bring to the market. But as you look at it from your perspective, what are the challenges and opportunities that you see uh, for further adoption and growth? Yeah, you know, I think the, the data center offers so many um, opportunities as well as, um, you know, sort of challenges for us to overcome. Uh, you know, I appreciate your comments. I think, you know, we've been very focused on, you know, growth overall in the data center, you know, starting first with cloud, but then, you know, particularly with our enterprise customers, you know, they, they want sort of all of the advantages you know, of cloud in their oh. on-prem um, environments. And so, you know, we've been very focused on ensuring that we have, you know, we make it as easy as possible uh, for people to adopt Epic. And, you know, at this point we have over 500 turnkey solutions. Um, very, very key in that is, you know, all of the work that we're doing with you and vSphere and ensuring that, you know, that momentum continues for our enterprise customers. Yeah, that's great. We have giant customers like DBS and TSMC, et cetera, right? Now, one area where both the core density and I.O. performance is critical is um, HCI. And so let's talk about HCI. VM, vSAN is the number one HCI solution by market share, right? And vSAN is the basis of VMware Cloud Foundation, which is used by the world's largest customers to build out their private clouds and hybrid clouds. And a lot of that is running on top of AMD Epic. Right, because of the connectivity that uh, Epic uh, uh, provides, and the CPUs also are uh, uh, very ideal for these cloud-native workloads that increasingly customers are deploying on their private clouds, with Kubernetes and Tanzu Kubernetes being built into vSphere. Well, you know, we're extremely excited about the opportunity with HCI as well. Uh, you know, if you think about sort of all of the functionality of Epic processors, it's really a perfect match for vSAN. Um, when we think about, you know, sort of, uh, you know, what we can do with the high core count and the, you know, I.O. bandwidth, you know, our goal is to drive really the best possible performance, um, you know, in these um, environments. And, you know, I'm really proud of the work that we've done together, uh, Raghu, because, you know, if you look at, you know, just some of the benchmarks out there, I mean, nine of the 10 highest performance servers in VMark are based on Epic processors. So we'd like to keep that going, yep. um, you know, obviously. Uh, and then, you know, as you said, some of the advanced security features um, with confidential computing in the enterprise are also, you know, very, very helpful for the overall, you know, customer solutions. Yeah, we are very appreciative of the great engineering collaboration and the investment that your teams have made in uh, driving all of that performance. So now let's switch gears and talk about something a whole new exciting thing that uh, you guys are bringing out into the marketplace, which is a whole new class of programmable processor, uh, which is uh, the DPU, the data processing unit. 
Now, you clearly acquired uh, Pansanda, which is one of the pioneers of the DPU movement. Uh, what do you see in the market for DPUs? Yeah, so uh, we are very excited about, you know, sort of the opportunity here. Um, I would say, you know, just taking a step back, you know, the largest strategic priority for AMD is really in the data center. And when we think about, you know, what our customers are, are really facing, it's how do you optimize all of this compute, right? When you have CPUs and GPUs and DPUs and all of these other functions, how do we make sure that we have the most optimum um, compute um, in, in the data center? I think the, um, the Pensando team is a fantastic team, so we're super super happy to have them um, as part of AMD. Yep. We acquired them um, a, a couple of months ago, and what they really allow us to do is is have sort of the right um, you know a processing capability for the right application. So the offload onto the DPU of some of the security and the storage functions and um, and uh, the networking uh, functions allow us to ensure that the CPUs are really being used for you know what they're good for you know mm -hmm. pure uh, compute. So um, you know great team, great collaboration. By the way, I know that you know you've had um, a very long-standing collaboration yep, with right. the Pensando team, and um, you know we look like uh, you know we we really feel that we can take you know, their solution to the next level across a, a very broad set of customers and really accelerate the adoption of DPUs. Yeah, that's great, yeah. That's a whole new dimension to data center computing. In fact, the industry movement towards heterogeneous compute with the CPU and the DPU and a GPU is very likely the future architecture for servers. And that's why we are investing heavily in making sure that vSphere can take advantage of all three and deploy workloads across all of these uh, as a new generation of workloads that come into the data center with a huge amount of data processing needs, right? This architecture is going to work really well. And the other area where this architecture is going to work really well is, of course, the edge, which is an exciting new area of growth for both of us as customers put um, revamp their manufacturing and their data and their uh, retail stores and uh, invest in things like uh, infrastructure for autonomous traffic and so on and so forth. So this is why in vSphere 8 um, DPUs are the centerpiece of what we're doing. We have in fact re-architected vSphere to run on DPUs, offload like you said the infrastructure services like network and storage to DPUs and free up the CPU. And this allows for the agility at the infrastructure level for app developers to, developers to leverage all of these disaggregated pools of computing and bring together an elastic, scalable model for all of their modern applications in the data center that spans the physical boundaries of the data center. Yeah, I think um, you know we're super excited about what you're unlocking with vSphere 8. You know, from day one when we were you know engaging with the Pensando team, you know, sort of you know VMware and everything that we were doing to really satisfy what enterprise um, you know IT uh, folks need uh, was was core. And you know, we thought of that as a, a very very forward looking opportunity mm -hmm. um, for us to really change the way people optimize their compute. Um, you know, in enterprise data centers. So you know, I look at this as you know we we have you know the best cpu technology combined with um, the DPU capability and the agility that you're talking about um, really provides like you know great solutions you know for our joint customers yeah and it's indeed a very exciting new development not just for compute but also for security mm -hmm. and both of us talk to CIOs all the time clearly the impact of security breaches cannot ever be underestimated and the traditional approach to network security has not fundamentally changed, if you think about it, right? Even though most of modern applications exchange a lot of traffic between the application components, east-west traffic, um, most of network security is based on firewalls that are focused solely on the network per uh, perimeter, if you will. And so they are unable to secure east-west traffic at scale. And with the vSphere platform and with the exciting work that we've done in NSX, combined with the advancement in the uh, silicon in the form of DPUs, we can bring intrinsic security to life. We can run the NSX firewall literally on the Pensando DPU, mm -hmm. on the AMD DPU, bringing security close to the workload from the data center perimeter. 
and it provides for a totally new and a much more robust security model where the physical isolation of the workload and the infrastructure domains can happen literally at every VM or every container level. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, I think that is um, the beauty of putting these uh, solutions together. Um, I completely agree with you, Raghu. You know, security is absolutely critical to everything that we do. You know, when we architect, um, you know, all of our silicon from ground zero, is it's really how do we ensure that we're architecting uh, for security, whether you're talking about what we're doing on the Epic, um, you know, CPUs, or as you said, you know, Pensando um, really adds sort of another layer of performance mm -hmm. and flexibility for the security of processing. I would say the other thing that is, you know, pretty exciting in how these solutions come together is, you know, the Pensando DPU is actually quite programmable. Yeah. So, um, you know, that, you know, sort of the, that unique programmability will allow us to continue to innovate and, you know, upgrade um, these uh, security solutions, you know, over time as new features come and, and new capabilities are there. So totally agree. It's a, it's a key uh, differentiation um, for our joint solution. Yeah, the programmability is very interesting. And so what I'm super excited about of all the things that we are doing at this show and announcing at this show is vSphere 8. And like I said, the DPU uh, capabilities and the support for DPU and the exploitation of the DPU is at the centerpiece. And this is the first release of the vSphere um, uh, product line on DPUs directly with both vSphere as well as NSX being supported on the Pensando DPU so that uh, enterprise customers can start to offload and accelerate functions using uh, your uh, uh, DPU unit. So that's super exciting for us, and uh, we're looking forward to a lot of great adoption of vSphere 8 along with your DPU. Well, first of all, congratulations. You know, uh, we completely agree. This is like a huge step forward in what we can offer our, um, our joint enterprise customers. It's really exciting um, to be a part of that. Um, we're honored to be you know, part of your uh, launch partners here. And, you know, our, our view is, you know, with our CPUs and our DPUs in the new vSphere 8, um, it's really all about the next generation architecture for, uh, you know, modern applications. So yeah. I think huge step forward. Um, you can count on us to work very closely throughout the ecosystem with all of our, you know, OEM partners to get these solutions out into the market as soon as possible. That's great. And thank you so much for your collaboration and thank you for participating in this launch. And, as we started talking, the VMware AMD partnership has been tremendous over the years. It's got it's brought great benefits, and now with the, uh, both the Epic processors and the DPU, um, we are very excited and honored that uh, we are participating with you in rearchitecting the data center for modern computing. Well, thank you so much, Raghu, and, and I completely agree. This is a huge opportunity for us together and for our customers and our partners to. Uh, to you know push the envelope in computing. Yep, thank you. Thanks.